Merry Christmas again. So good to be here. Uh, brothers and sisters, I don't know if you're realizing that today, yesterday, tomorrow, we are celebrating a birth of King of the Kings, Amen. Lord of the Lords, Amen. our Savior, someone who rules the universe, someone who has a power. Only in Him we can be saved. There is no other name we can be saved. Jesus Christ's birth was the moment that our hope can, can be transformed in an action. If you come to Him, you just put all the burden into Him and you'll be saved. It's such a simple thing. Amen. See, uh, God does not require uh, extraordinary action from us. It's, it's just a simple thing. You have to believe, come to Him through faith and you'll be saved. Amen. Such a wonderful news for everyone. Amen. That's why this, these days are supposed to be uh, full of joy for Christian people. Amen. Amen. We are so joyful to, to be here. We, we bless Amen. everyone, Amen. those who couldn't come today, spending time with families. Uh, this is the time when we visit uh, uh, others, brothers, sisters, uh, families, uh, our relatives. So we bless them all. For those who uh, could come and be with us today, uh, thank you for being uh, supporting. We heard that story of Jesus born so many times, but every time someone that preaches, uh, we get to know more and more facts. We we understand better. Do you have that? Amen. Yes. And thank you for the interesting facts of the uh, journey traveling. Uh, another interesting fact. Jesus was born in a place that touches three continents, Africa, Asia, and Europe. Three, uh, number three, it's a very common number in the Bible. So, in my opinion, it gives us uh, the, um, the view that uh, Jesus wants everyone to be saved. Not only local, not only the place when he was born. Uh, or he was traveling around, just like he said, we need to spread the gospel all over the world. So he does not identify as a uh, in the one nation. Of course, the, there was a, a chosen nation, and and uh, he he lived in a particular place. But that's a message for us that that we need to uh, share the good news all over the world. Um, and Jesus himself did not travel more than 100 uh, miles during his life. Uh, he said, after me, you'll be doing even, even uh, uh, more things than I do. So he didn't, he didn't shame to say that. Uh, he started his mission. He started the salvation. Uh, so if we want to follow Jesus, we need to be the, the light of this, of this word and, and, and spread the gospel. That, that's, it's called to be fruitful. When you, when you bring people, when you, when you bring people to Jesus, He will do the rest. The Holy Spirit will do the rest. But we, they need to hear the message just like uh, Pastor Joshua was, was telling us. So, uh, someone needs to tell them. Because if they don't hear, they will not believe. How? So that's our uh, great mission. So let's remember this in this season that we celebrate Jesus. We celebrate uh, that everything starts from Him. Uh, God is the beginning and the end. He even invented the, the beginning. We don't fully understand. We always have to have in our minds that there is beginning of something and the end of something. But but God has no beginning. God has no end. He invented that uh, for us. So that gives us another uh, message that God is so powerful. There is something about anyone, anything. Lord, we praise your name. We praise that 
wonderful message you gave us, your, your, your birth, your mission, uh, your love. Uh, Father, thank you for everyone here uh, who could come with, and serve to you with, uh, for you today or, or those who couldn't come, but they will join us uh, next time. Uh, thank you so much for being here uh, and bless you all. Thank mm -hmm. you.